Across both the PlayStation 4 and 5 era, there have been many great PlayStation franchises that have either continued their reputable runs or established themselves as new PlayStation icons. I'm talking about Uncharted or Ghost of Tsushima, but while your Last of Us or Horizons have dominated the headlines, there are some PlayStation franchises that have fallen by the wayside. Hello there folks, it's Aiden here from Push Square and today I want to break down the 6 PlayStation franchises that Sony really needs to bring back into the spotlight. So let's break it down. We all know that Gran Turismo is the serious racer of PlayStation, but sometimes you just want to let loose on the road and revel in the carnage. The Motorstorm series was exactly that, last showing up on the PlayStation 3 and Vita in 2012. This is a far more cutthroat version of your arcade racers, encouraging you to swipe, bash and utterly destroy your competition. And to be honest, it's exactly what PlayStation needs to fill that Forza Horizon hole in Sony's library. Generally speaking, this series has a very nice versatility to it, with one previous entry taking to the apocalyptic roads, so you could really mix up the tracks of a new installment. Not to mention it could be glorious with those current gen graphics, super slick SSD loading times and immersive haptics, which have proven themselves time and time again to be a fantastic feature for racing titles. Playing a game like this in 60fps or higher and watching another car crumble into pieces is the speedy dopamine fix I think we need on PS5 right now. Come on now, we all want it, we kind of expected it, but we're still waiting for more Infamous. This series actually did have a run in with the later generations of PlayStation, with Infamous Second Son launching in the first year of the PS4. But we can all agree that a series like this deserves to make its return on the PS5. Second Son was actually a super impressive game technically, with fast paced combat and gorgeous graphics. It could be taken even further with this generation, and I think the storytelling aspects could be far amplified too, given the higher standard of storytelling that we kind of expect in the format these days. Ghost of Tsushima Dev, Sucker Punch Production have been on this series, and while we seriously expect Ghost 2 to be their next game, it would be nice of them not to forget this super powered franchise, and with the games typically including a morality system that would influence the conclusion of the narrative in the previous games, you could cherry pick which ending to make canon and springboard off it into a continued story, or just treat that as ancient history and move on to something new and electric. I don't care, I just want to wreak havoc with superpowers in some new city setting. The Siphon Filter franchise used to be a hallmark of PlayStation back in the days of the PS1, 2 and PSP. Now this might not have the burning urgency for a revival that most of the other entries have, but I think it signifies the need for a certain type of game rather than the entry itself. These old school spy thrillers are sort of a forgotten genre of gaming, with very few capturing that stealthy 007 or Splinter Cell styled experience in the modern age. Now I know what you're thinking, Metal Gear is just kinda sitting there and primed for rebooting too and there's even a remake on the way, but without Kojima it might be quite difficult to capture lightning in a bottle twice. Whereas with the Siphon Filter franchise we now have Ben Studio, who we know are working on something new, but just imagine if it could usher back the golden era of high budget spy experiences. I'm a fiend for a linear and shorter experience too amidst my 100 hour epics because a balance of experiences is really important I think. But speaking of the actual game, with the obvious advancements since the Siphon Filter series was last on our PlayStation consoles, it would be great to see stellar combat and more importantly, a vast and open level design that leaves a massive stealthy sandbox for players to immerse themselves in. While we have a furry animal controlled platformer and Ratchet and Clank rift apart, it is a real shame to see a series like Sly Cooper be left in the dust of older generations. Last seen in the final year of the PS3, this is a stealthier series that is soaked in style with its noir and comic book inspirations. Taking this beloved art style and vamping it up for the PS5 not only would put a smile on the face of all of the original fans, but it would undoubtedly breathe life into a franchise with an influx of new 
two players. This, oddly enough, is another series originally developed by Sucker Punch Productions, so it would likely be time to pass the torch on for a series like this to another studio. I don't know about you, but I think it's important to have more of these colourful and playful platformers on PlayStation. We've seen some great success with them in the form of Rift Apart or even the critically acclaimed Astro's Playroom, so it's clear that there's an audience for games like these. And with the once famous PlayStation icon, Sly and the gang really deserve another shot in the limelight. It genuinely boggles the mind as to how we've still not received a new Resistance game in over 10 years. Sony has been somewhat criticised the last couple of generations by intensely focusing its exclusive efforts on third person games, both linear and open world. That's why it would be refreshing for the Resistance series to make its long awaited return. I always felt like it was a franchise sort of held back due to its graphics and the particularly muddy looking style of Resistance 3 on the PS3 definitely didn't help that. But with the PS5, not only would the first person shooting be far improved with tighter controls, haptics and adaptive triggers and improved performance, the series could become the graphical powerhouse it was always meant to be and arguably what it needs to be for a world of this scale. It's a series that would greatly benefit from the lore filling details of its graphics and that's really just to mention its single player aspirations. We've got an entire multiplayer aspect that we've barely touched on but that's because I kinda want to save that for our final entry. But just as an added note I do think that the original developer Insomniac games would need to pass on this one since it has both the upcoming Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine. The Killzone series has to be the biggest missing mark in the entire modern PlayStation lineup. Sure, Killzone Shadowfall, it wasn't quite what everyone was looking for, but I feel like Sony has a serious opportunity here to bring this series back from the dead with a big, boisterous sci-fi epic. We already got a tease of what a graphically glitzier game would look like with their PS4 efforts, but can you just imagine how it would look on PS5? A lot of those lore filling benefits I was talking about with Resistance would apply here too. Now it seems as if Guerrilla Games are on horizon duty for the foreseeable future, so this would be yet another one that another studio would need to tackle. But I really do think that it would be worth it because many fans of the series really love it for one thing it's multiplayer. We've recently heard a lot of talk from Sony as it tries to expand its efforts into live service games and really I can't think of a better franchise to apply that to. Just imagine if Sony went all out with a big AAA FPS game which if done right could easily become the halo of PlayStation. But even better. So those are the franchises I really think deserve another shot on PS5 and really Sony? I think you're sitting on a gold mine with some of these titles. Anyway, let me know which of these franchises would light your fire if a reboot, remake or whatever was announced for PS5. And as always, let me know your suggestions too, these are just the franchises that I'd like to come back. When you're thinking up of some classic franchises from the past though, why not leave a like on the video and even better, subscribe to the channel if you're in the market for more PlayStation video content just like this. Anyway, thank you for watching everyone, I've been Aiden, this has been Push Square, and I'll catch you in the next one.